So are you going to let me in then? So, uh, I'm sorry, but you do need your pass. I said I've lost it. Mm. What's your name? You know what my name is. Yeah, I know, but it says here, if you haven't got a pass, you have to ask what the name is. What's my name? Dan. Right. Okay. What magazine are you from? You know what magazine I'm from? Sugar Rate. Okay, one second. No, no. Sorry, there's uh, no reply from the press office. I can't, I don't know what to do. One second. Hello? Hello, it's the press office. Oh, I've just been trying to phone you. Really? Is Dan Ashcroft from Sugar Ape there? Um, yes. Excuse me. It's them. I'm on the phone. Well, can you let him in then, please? Yes. And can you kiss his hand as well? Kiss his hand? Yes. Kiss his hand as he enters. OK. Thanks. Thanks. Good news. Uh, you can go in. What are you doing? What? What do you think you're doing? It's, they said... What's the matter with you? Well, are you all right? Said that, what? Are you all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, fine. They just said that they... They told me to... He said he saw a gunman. Game's full of them. Are you saying he's gone crackers? I wish I wasn't. I'll go down to the hospital and see how he is. I'll come with you, in case you need comforting. If he's dead. You don't think he's... he's... My uncle died without falling out of anything. Hey, well done. How'd you survive that? Landed on my thumbs. Uh, best part to land on. No bones in the thumbs. <laughs> Come on, girl. No. Daylight Roddery. Did he have it out? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't all right. It's <laughs> over. Give us a tenner and I'll pole dance you off. <laughs> no. In fact, I'm about to pop my crack out. Are you? I'm busting for a piss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Through there. Ah. Hey, mate, can you uh, leave us alone? I'm going to make a move. What? Yeah? When a girl says a word like piss, it means she wants Jiggy Beast. Well, how does that work? It's a rude word. Yeah? It means like she's easing up. Toby? I'm just trying to save your embarrassment, okay? You know, you don't want to sit there like a lemon, do you? We'll see. Yes, we will. We shall. Ah. Ah. Sounded good. Strong, healthy jet. Well, uh, my bedroom is uh, through there. Give me five minutes and I shall slip into my pyjamas. And I'll be through in a minute. See? Toby. I'm a bit cross with you, actually. With me? Why? I was waiting for you all night last night in my pyjamas. You want to let Nathan do a fuck in your ass? Brian. Nice to meet you. How are you? Mark Bark Jones. Hello. Shetil. Brian. Shetil. What? Shetil. We, we are going yeah. for the uh, Guinness... Guinness? Book records. Oh, that's fantastic. The thing is, uh, I've been circumcised, see, and, and, and Mark's not. And uh, the foreskin, as, as you know, acts, acts like a protective layer uh, to stop the, uh, the chafing around the... Um, yeah. Around the, uh, around the bell end. Mm. What about you two? Oh, my penis is off fine, thank you. Oh. I feel like the old one out now. You feel like what? The old one out. I mean, you've all got foreskins, and I haven't. Oh. I 
wish I could help you somehow. Yeah, well, it won't go back, will it? You like a biscuit? Hey, no. hey, 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 no, no, cut that out. That's all right. No, no, cut it out. Wait, no, wait, we're, we're unsupported. They know that, okay? Just because you're vulnerable, but just, leave, just leave the biscuit. No, but you can't, You can't design. Leave. But it's only a biscuit. Right. Leave the biscuit. It's only a biscuit. Right. It's only a biscuit. Leave the biscuit. <laughs> It's only a biscuit. It's not going to make a big difference. Uh, Daniel, it's not going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah. biscuit, you're hurting my oh, finger. Oh, it's my finger. It's, oh, a, it's a biscuit. They're not going to ban us from the Guinness Book of Records for eating a Jamie Dodger, are they? Listen, we're unsupported. Stop it. It's a biscuit. You've broken it. Bloody biscuit. Listen. Okay, this is on record. We haven't taken a biscuit. Say they haven't taken a biscuit. Just one. That's not true. That's not true! <laughs> say say we haven't taken a biscuit. You haven't taken a biscuit, just one. Show me your mouth. Open your mouth. Can open we... it, open it! There's no biscuit, okay? Okay. Just just one biscuit. I there don't know what no you biscuit. did with it. There was no you biscuit. Took one biscuit. No, we didn't. Count the biscuits. Didn't take it's a biscuit. Miss one missing. We didn't. You count the packet. I'm gonna get that other biscuit. I'm gonna get the other biscuit. That's brave, give it to him. What? Nah, what did you I say? Fifteen biscuits. What did you say? You're brave. He'd give it to him. Hey, don't take it so seriously. Is he eating a biscuit? <laughs> Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> don't! I'm married! Get off me! Come here, Chantel! Come here! You're I've got the biscuits! I'm the award-winning journalist Gary Bellamy. For the last few years, I've been talking to the people of Britain on my award-winning phoning programme, Down the Line. Okay, the BBC Three and Four, they're always in such small print. Red lines painted on the side of the road of the curb. You can't do that. <laughs> but I thought it was high time I got out of my cosy little studio, made myself presentable for TV, and actually spoke to you lot face to face, as I meet Bellamy's people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's great to meet some young people and uh, hear your opinions and views on, uh, on modern Britain. Um, can I ask, do you like being British? Are you proud to be British? Who's proud? Put your hands up if you're proud to be British. Right, does that mean you're not proud to be British? Put your hands up if you're not proud to be British. Put your hands up if you're indifferent. Put your hands up. Right there. Good. I don't. I know. This one's got green shit coming out of his mouth. I know, but you've got to get the shot though. It looks really, you know, you look like you're in it. You look like you're in the countryside. It's fantastic, like this. This is, it's really moving. All right, right. I'm trying to talk to him, and it's all like this. It's not going to hurt you though. It's not going to hurt you. I don't like them a bit. I don't really like them. I don't really it's like all right. them. It's alright. You're quite safe. They you're frighten right. me a little bit. I don't. Yeah, they, they're too big. If they sense your fear, they'll go for you, but otherwise you're fine. What do you mean they'll go for me? They go, well, they won't go for you. <laughs> they won't go for me. No, you're safe. You'll stand here. You're fine. Just, if you just go, you just, yep. Yeah. While we've got them, what? there's been talk about, I've just been so on Could I just say, don't, don't stand behind them. No, because they kick you in the face. They will kick you, yes. Come on, let's not bother with it. Can I just come off the camera I and just want to do one thing of putting you on a horse. No. Just, on, I've just had David on the phone. If we put you on a horse, do you think it would be great if we put you on a horse? I'm not going on that. You know, it's, it's not normal. Look at their animals. But it's They've got their, my, their own brains. They're not like, I can't control it. They're, but it's going to be great for the environment. It's not, I don't think it's, a, I think it's an odd thing. It's an odd pursuit. I've yeah. never understood it. I don't really like them. And I don't want to sit on one of their backs. They're all looking at me from every angle. That like they hate me. Ben, if one of them kicks me in the face, I'm telling you now, I will kick you in the face. Oh all right? These days we read a lot in the papers and see in the news the increased levels of bullying and, and crime within schools. Is this something that affects you at all or, or worries you? No. And we hear a lot about teenage crime, knife crime, that kind of thing. Is this something that, that frightens you or affects you at all? Have you been stabbed? No. Have you been stabbed? Have you been stabbed? Has anyone been, put your hands up if you haven't been stabbed. Was your father a tough man? He was tough. I never did the things he wanted me to do with. I couldn't do those things. I couldn't fight, I couldn't blow smoke rings. You know, I wouldn't climb trees. And I think he ached for me to come home with a black eye. Yes. You know, or a story of holding someone against the wall, you know, and spitting on them or something like that. But of course, I would play with the girls. 
Did he ever hit you? No, he never raised his hand to me. Although he, I just exasperated him. Did he ever hit your mom? I don't believe so, no. Did he ever hit anybody? No, he didn't. Not once? Never hit anyone? No. Shame. Chat, chat, chat. Talking, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll talk, we'll have a talk. No, no. Okay. Conversation. Stormer and Sniper. Sniper, are they co the names there, I, I, they're, you know, guns, yeah, snipers, nah, guns. it's not about that, it's about the accuracy. Like, so he's more of an accurate person, like he's a sniper. But clocks like are business. accurate, why can't you be called clock? Well, clocks aren't always accurate. Like, look, look, my, my atomic son. clocks are accurate. The atomic clocks. Which I say that he should be called atomic clock. Why can't I be called sniper? And because it matches, it matches of... with me, Stormer. Exactly, S A S, bro. Well, you're gonna be atomic clock and Stormer. That don't make no that sense. That don't make no sense. No, but it's kind. It doesn't. It's not so offensive, is it? I mean, you know, people do get snapped and murdered, but no one gets killed by an atomic clock. Mm. Oh, it disgusts me. Mm. They literally kill someone for a five pound v neck jumper mm. they can sell to buy a bag of smack. But, I mean, to be fair, you're not an angel, are you? I mean, you did some terrible things in your youth. Uh, in your book, you freely admit that you threw some ammonia into the face of someone at the Kentucky Fried Chicken because they gave you a wing instead of a breast. That is a total fabrication. That what? never happened. But it's in your book. They gave me a thigh instead of a wing. I mean, that's quite bad, isn't it? I was carefree. I didn't think about consequences. Kids today, they're out of control, low-life scum. Didn't you have your mum killed? Who Not sits there? All of us, we'll all sit there. That put me off, you lot watching me while I'm in the car pretending to drive. We've been watching you for the past six weeks. No, not pretending to drive, you haven't. But you're not actually driving. I'm pretending to drive, which is even worse, I feel silly. Well, you've got to look convincing. Do I still have to look like I'm doing yeah, all this? Yeah, you need to look like, because the car will go around bends and you need to steer around bends. So yes. you need to look like you're actually driving the car. It's what they use in Hollywood all the is time. It? And dramas and all that sort of oh, thing. Right. Always. Whenever so you Morse, see a car, when he's driving around or or yeah, with some murders. He's in one of these, he's in one is he? Yeah. yeah. And one of these things? Yeah. yeah. God, it's ruined everything. Starsky and Hutch. Star really? Doctor Who. Everything. everything. Starsky and Hutch. And well, Sometimes. And Knight Rider and things Knight like that. Rider he would have well. been in... Hold that. So can I do this? We'll do that. Whoa. Welcome to Bellamy's People. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Because people wonder, how am I no, doing it? Yeah, but we want I'll to give you... This week on Bellamy... <laughs> this week on Bellamy's People, uh, I'm talking about race, Whoa, immigration. You know what I mean? This week on Bellamy's people, yeah? Now, this is good. I like the low loader. Woo! <laughs> hey, get out of the way! <laughs> you motherfuckers! Don't hey. start the engine. Don't, don't so, in yeah. Thelma and Louise, would they have thrown the whole thing off at the end? Where does the, where do the keys go? Them, I don't know. Let's go back now, we'll get a taxi. Gary? Gary! Oh. Gary. No, come on, we come should just go. Gary's coming back tomorrow! Oh, no. Gary's coming no, no, back! Come on, it's too much. It's not very much. Okay, I'll come back for a bit, all right? Just a bit, okay? Oh, you can they come? No, no. What are you giving me? What are you giving me? At my house. At what? my house. What's she doing? Oh, oh. 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 what are you doing? I'm the best friend. I'm the best friend. Oh, no. To be that hard. I'm sorry I didn't mean to be that hard. What happened to you? I thought it was just a bit of play. I'm stand sorry. up, stand up, stand up, stand up. No, 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 no. no. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Listen to me, yeah? Yeah. Don't you ever come in my no, 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 come no. in my yard, yeah? Mm. Don't you ever come in my yard. I won't come in your yard. I slap me in my face I again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah? I thought it was just a bit yeah? of fun. Look at my face. Look at me high. I did it because eh? you did it to me. Eh? I thought it was a bit eh? of fun. I thought eh? it was... Don't you ever come in my yard and slap me upon my face again. Sit down! Sit down! Sorry. Chop! Oh, yeah. Will you do a foot with us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Foot, wait. Yeah. It's a joke foot for the guys at the snooker hall. Mm. Pretend you're bumming me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, go on, Gary. Do yeah. painful things. Oh, do painful things. Gary. Oh, you're into it. Oh, you're into it. That is so Can you look like you're into it a bit more? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, look at that. Really do a face, Gary. Like your little. Oh, an old face. Look like you're having a good time. Monkey face. Oh. Oh, yeah, cup his balls, cup his balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary, you look like you're loving it there. Oh. I asked Sam Maitland what her views on immigration were as a Christian. I've thought about this a lot, and I think if you invite somebody into your house, mm. then you have to give them a very warm welcome. Mm. And I think we either have to make our welcome a lot warmer, or we have to be a little bit more disciplined about who we invite into our house. And at the moment, I think we're getting both things wrong. So I suppose it's a little bit like at Christmas when you invite an uncle over mm. and he's just got remarried to like a younger wife and they've got new children. <laughs> and it's a bit awkward, you know, we don't really know because they don't get on with the other side of the family. The trouble got with your analogies, goose. you see, is you get into an awful tangle because I don't know about this particular uncle or this particular young wife or indeed the children. Well, he's about 50 and he, mm -hmm. he used to work in the, uh, in the carpet warehouse before he got made, oh, yes. made redundant. There's not, everyone wants wooden floors these days. And uh, he's um, basically had a terrible falling out with, with his brother over some, well, someone died in the family and his wife took all the Chinese furniture from him. I just can't get involved with this uncle because I, I nor, don't nor know can the family, is. and that's why it's annoying. He's turned up at this party. Was he invited? I think he's bipolar. You know, he disappears. But he's not an immigrant, is he? No. So how is he helping our discussion? Helen and I have actually separated. We're having a trial separation, and I'm giving her some space by living here. In the in the tent. Yeah, in this tent. This is where I'm living. Yeah. Peter Salad believes the traditional British values of politeness and fair play have got him absolutely nowhere in life. Yeah, it's quite cosy actually, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought when I first moved here. But camping is fun, isn't it? Well, it is with is your it? family, yeah. I cook pasta here on the, on the camping gas and I cook our uh, soups, sausages, you know, beans. That's mm. the favourite one, but it's not so much fun on your own. Is she there? Yeah. What's she doing? She's standing looking at us. She's looking at us? She's looking mm. at me? Well, she's looking this direction. Oh, I'm not supposed to look. The doctor told me I'm not supposed to look at her. Oh. Damn. What else did the doctor tell you not to do? <sighs> Live in the bottom of the garden in the tent. That was the top of the list. Yeah. Not to sort of fetishise her, not to call her, not to... I don't know. What's she doing now? She's still st looking this way. At me? What? Or at you? Her eyes are too far away for me to see exactly where her eyes are looking. Is anyone else there? She's gone back in now. I want to look, I want to look, I mustn't look, I mustn't look, I mustn't look. She's going back over to the cupboards. Oh! She's at the cupboards now? She's at the cupboards, she's getting something from a cupboard. Jumper? Might be a duvet. Why? I don't know. It's Tuesday. Maybe she's changing the sheets or something. She's on the phone now. Is she? She's laughing. Good. She's really laughing. Good, good, good. There's a sort of symmetry to it, isn't it? She gave birth to me, I gave death to her. Mm. I suppose you could look at it like that. I get on well with my mum. Has your mum ever talked to a Chinaman in broad daylight? I, I could never In ever. broad daylight, well, nodding her head, laughing. Mm. I think my mum would have to do something really... Shut up! Morning, Miranda. Morning. I've got you a coffee and a muffin. A muffin as well, thank yeah, you. Yeah. And uh, I bought you something else. Bought you this. Present. Yeah, well, two presents actually. One, one serious, and the other one's a little bit jokey. Ah, mittens. <laughs> Lovely. So that's a jokey one out of the way. No, 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 no. That's just your main thing. You see, you've got such lovely tiny hands, like a child's hands. I thought they look all cute wrapped up like a sexy puppet. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. They're really nice. Oh, really? Oh, good. Well, seeing as you like them so much, maybe the next present won't be so much of a joke after all. Maybe it'll be a necessity. Oh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> Come on, Miranda, put me out my misery. Even the most expensive ones with spermicide, it doesn't give you a sore throat. Go away now. Sean, Louis and Reese, what have the nation been talking about this week? 
four-year-old girl's depressed, she's a bit down. And uh, she takes her to the doctor and they said, he said, yeah, she's depressed. She tried to slit her wrist with stickle bricks. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was four, I used to get Randy, I used to rub myself against a chair leg. <laughs> And my mum goes, stop that, it's naughty. And my dad said, don't tell him to don't stop. He's Welsh. He said, don't tell him to stop, because he might go funny in the head. And I think I did it till I was about 14. <laughs> get on a chair leg and rub like that. That's funny. 58% of swimmers think what helps them go faster? Engines. <laughs> I think sharks. <laughs> yeah, ask me anything about sharks and I know it. What's the life expectancy of a great white? Oh, it depends where it lives. <laughs> Reese, grown ups talking. Yeah. <laughs> You're just all too clever for me. I don't watch the news. I thought this was a programme actually about cats. 